Set against the iconic backdrop of San Francisco, Ironside revolved around the remarkable character Robert T. Ironside, portrayed with brilliance by Raymond Burr. Chief Ironside, a consultant for the SFPD, faced an unexpected twist of fate when he was paralyzed from the waist down after a gunshot during his vacation. His resilience and unwavering determination became the heartbeat of the show, surrounded by a cast of compelling characters who brought the city's crime-fighting narratives to life. Stay tuned as we explore the captivating tales of these cast members and the intricate web of the show itself. Facts First presents Every Ironside Cast Member Died Except One. See her now. Raymond Burr At the heart of the show, we found Raymond Burr portraying the iconic Chief Robert T. Ironside, a character who emerged as the linchpin of the series. Born May 21, 1917, Burr brought an undeniable gravitas to the role, with his distinctive voice and commanding presence. He had already made a name for himself in Hollywood, notably for his portrayal of another legendary character, Perry Mason. Burr's career was well-rounded, spanning decades and encompassing roles that showcased his adaptability and raw talent. His portrayal of Chief Ironside, a determined and relentless detective confined to a wheelchair, was nothing short of captivating. He held the audience's attention with his indomitable spirit and unwavering dedication to justice. Sadly, Raymond Burr left us September 12, 1993, but his legacy as Chief Ironside endures. Don Galloway In the role of Detective Sergeant Ed Brown, Don Galloway brought a depth of character to the series that resonated with viewers. Born July 27, 1937, Galloway's career spanned various film and TV appearances, but it was his portrayal of Ed Brown that remains a standout in his filmography. Galloway's contribution to the show was pivotal, as his character, Ed Brown, served as Chief Ironside's right-hand man and brought a relatable and human element to the crime-solving team. His on-screen chemistry with Raymond Burr added an extra layer of intrigue to the series. Sadly, Don Galloway departed from this world January 8, 2009, but his memorable role as Detective Ed Brown ensures his legacy endures. Don Mitchell Don Mitchell, the actor who breathed life into the character Mark Sanger, was born March 17, 1943. His portrayal in Ironside was nothing short of remarkable. Mark Sanger was a crucial member of Chief Ironside's team, and Mitchell's performance brought depth and humanity to the series. Before and after his role in Ironside, Don Mitchell had a diverse career in the entertainment industry, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His presence on the show was captivating, and he left an indelible mark with his portrayal of Sanger. His legacy lives on through his work, and while he may have left us on December 8, 2013, his contribution to the world of television remains a testament to his talent. Elizabeth Bauer Elizabeth Bauer, born December 1, 1947, took on the role of Officer Fran Belding, adding a unique dimension to the show's ensemble cast. Her character provided a strong female presence in the world of law enforcement. Outside of Ironside, Elizabeth Bauer's career spanned various projects in the industry, and her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her roles showcased her versatility. Although we bid farewell to Elizabeth Bauer on September 30, 2017, her portrayal of Officer Fran Belding remains a cherished memory for fans of the show. Jean Lyons Jean Lyons, in the recurring role of Commissioner Dennis Randall, added an extra layer of complexity to the world of Ironside. While not a regular cast member, Lyons' appearances as Commissioner Randall were always noteworthy. Born February 9, 1921, he brought a wealth of experience to his character. Lyons had a multifaceted career in the industry with roles in film and television. His portrayal of Commissioner Randall added a dynamic to the series as he navigated the complex world of law enforcement. While Gene Lyons may have left us on July 8, 1974, his contributions to Ironside and the broader world of entertainment endure. Barbara Anderson Barbara Anderson, born November 27, 1945, in Brooklyn, began her life journey under the care of her father, George Anderson, a Navy enlisted man. While her early years were spent in the bustling streets of New York City, fate led her family to relocate to Memphis during her teen years. It was in that period that Anderson's passion for acting ignited. 
The spark came alive when she took on a role in a Tennessee Williams play, revealing her innate talent and love for the stage. Her journey continued as she pursued higher education at Memphis State University, where her star shined even brighter. In 1963, she achieved the prestigious title of Miss Memphis. As a young actress, Barbara Anderson's early experiences in the world of theater were marked by her association with the Front Street Repertory Theater and her professional debut with the Southwestern University Players in Memphis. Her path eventually led her to the vibrant theater scene in Los Angeles, where her talent soon made its mark on television. In 1966, one of her initial forays into television featured her in the first season of the iconic series Star Trek in the episode The Conscience of the King. But it was in March of 1967 that Anderson introduced the world to her unforgettable character, Eve Whitfield, in the Ironside TV movie. This marked the beginning of a journey that would captivate audiences for years to come, when the series officially debuted in September of the same year. During that same week, she showcased her versatility with a featured role in the first episode of Mannix. Barbara became one of the four original cast members of Ironside and took on the lead role for the first 105 episodes. Her portrayal of Officer Whitfield, one of the two officers chosen to assist Chief Robert Ironside after he was left paralyzed by a gunshot, was nothing short of outstanding. Her talent and dedication to the role were so remarkable that in 1968, she was honored with a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. As her career continued to flourish, Anderson embraced a variety of roles, from playing the wife of a man inheriting a notoriously haunted house in the Night Gallery episode Fright Night, to being a crucial witness to a mob hit in the Harry O episode Material Witness. Her versatility allowed her to seamlessly transition into different characters. In 1971, Barbara Anderson married actor Don Burnett and made the decision to step away from Ironside to focus on her marriage. But this didn't mark the end of her career. She continued to grace the small screen with her talent, accepting supporting roles in several TV movies, including the 1977 film You Lie So Deep, My Love, where she reunited with her former Ironside co-star Don Galloway. Throughout her career, she made memorable guest appearances on popular TV shows of the era, including The Love Boat, Wonder Woman, and Marcus Welby, M.D. In 1993, a significant moment in her career occurred when Barbara reunited with her former Ironside co-stars for the TV movie Return of Ironside, where she reprised her iconic role as Eve Whitfield, now the mother of a daughter. This reunion brought a sense of closure and nostalgia to fans who had grown attached to the characters she portrayed. Now it's time to hear from you. Who were your favorite characters on Ironside? Let us know in the comments section below.